dear friends, today let us walk into something that we experience every day, yet may have never truly explored in depth: energy. Energy is everywhere, and yet has no shape or form. It burns in the stars, and lingers in your fatigue. Like me now, I catch cold. You can hear it in my voice. I'm sorry about that. And also, you can feel that energy stirs in the silence before you speak, and trembles in your chest when your heart breaks. But do we really know what energy is? Is it some invisible thing, a mysterious light flowing through the universe, or just a scientific unit in an equation? Or have we misunderstood it all along? In today's episode, we will explore the true nature of energy through the lens of relational non-duality, bridging scientific insight and Eastern philosophy, eventually lead to everyday experience. We often say things like, "I have no energy today." That child is full of energy. Love is a form of energy. There is a mysterious cosmic energy flowing through the universe. Even scientists tells us, energy cannot be created or destroyed. But if we pause and ask, what is energy really? We may find the answer isn't so clear. We use it, we feel it, measure it, but rarely reflect on its essence. And behind this familiar word may lie a profound misunderstanding. We tend to think of energy as a thing. From a young age, we've taught energy can be stored, released, transferred. Food is energy. Fuel is energy. Batteries are energy. So. We begin to imagine energy as something we can move around, like bricks. One brick into the body, another into the engine, another into the phone. But unlike bricks, can you ever touch energy? We don't eat energy; we eat an apple. A light bulb isn't filled with energy; it just lights up. Our bodies don't possess energy; they move, heat up, jump, and leave. If energy were really like a brick, where is it? Actually, just as a wave is not a single wave molecule, but a rhythm of rising and falling. Just as wind is not an object. But the way air flows through space, energy too, is not a thing, but the flow of relational tension. Sounds abstract? Let's break it down. So first of all, let's look into what the science say. At the cutting edge of physics, scientists tells us electrons. Photons, quarks, are not tiny balls of stuff. They are vibrations in quantum fields. Just like a ripple in water is not an object, these particles are patterns of tension within invisible fields. In other words, quantum field theory tells us particles are not points; they are tremors. Now imagine this: you touch a cup of hot water and see, it has a lot of energy. But what does it have? What you are sensing is countless molecules colliding. The momentum between them, the friction, the internal tension. Temperature is not a substance; it is a measure of relational intensity. So yes, thermodynamics tells us temperature is not a thing, 
It is a relationship. Now, let's consider the universe. At the birth of our universe, after the Big Bang and the inflationary phase, the cosmos entered a hot, dense, almost the perfectly uniform plasma state. This was a state of near thermal equilibrium, but not absolute equilibrium. Precision measurements reveal slight temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background, only about one part in 100,000. And it is precisely these tiny irregularities, these perturbations, that lead to gravitational collapse and the formation of stars, galaxies, and eventually us. So, the universe unfolded not because it was perfectly balanced, but because of its slight imbalance. According to relational non-duality, the deep philosophical meaning here is, what gives rise to the world is not perfect symmetry or stillness, but subtle trembling in relational tension. If you call that stillness is perfection, then it's not perfection that manifests this universe, but all those subtle relationships that moves, vibrates, resonates. Not some sort of perfect stillness burst the world. Relational trembling did. Relational non-duality always, always emphasize that Everything is in relationship. Nobody is an isolated island. You are not. I am not. Nobody is. You are a trembling point in a vast relational field. That is the foundational understanding for this entire philosophy. If you are interested, you can have a look of the ninth episode. The science behind relational non-duality. So, what is energy? Energy equal to the flowability of relational tension. That's it. Which means, fundamentally, energy is not content. It's tension. Again, let's make some examples. Imagine a drum. The drum surface doesn't contain music. But when you strike it, tension vibrates, and sound appears, right? You don't see the shape of energy, but you feel how it travels through airs and touches your heart. So energy is not something in a drum. It is the flow pattern of activated relationships. Now, let's imagine a river. The water doesn't belong to the river bed, right? And the river isn't a container. The river is the path carved by the flow. You too are such a river. When you say, I have no energy, it's not because you lack a thing, no. It's because your relationships have blocked, compressed, or disconnected. You don't need to gain energy. You need to reopen your channel. Also, have you noticed? The more you try to own energy, you want to grab it, the more exhausted you feel. Why? Because by doing so, your relational field is even more blocked. Your structure has stopped resonating. That's why, to understand energy, is to rediscover who we are. We are not batteries. We are not containers. We are not the owners of energy. We are points in a wave of tension. We are melodies in a relational symphony. True energy is not how much you possess, but how much you flow. True health is not what you've stored, but how open you are. True love is not how much you've claimed, 
but how deeply you've responded. So next time when you say, "I have no energy," please don't blame yourself, and don't look for external supplies. Instead, gently ask, "Where did relationships break? What tension is being compressed?" What pathway can be reopened? Sometimes, all it takes is a breath to remember. Energy was never something you had; it is something you participate in. It is not a resource; it is your way of relating. Energy never left you; you just forgot. You are its living flow in the world. Have a good day, my friends. I see you in the next episode.